हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम योर फ्रेंड शादाब इमाम एंड वी आर कवरिंग वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन ऑपरेशंस रिसर्च सो टुडे वी हैव केम विद अनदर अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ फॉर्मुलेशन ऑफ ऑपरेशन रिसर्च इन लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम्स सो फॉर दोज हु हैव नॉट वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज गो एंड वॉच द फर्स्ट वीडियो बिकॉज देयर आई हैव एक्सप्लेन द कॉन्सेप्ट of how a problem is to be formulated with a very simple example so let us start with the problem so in this problem it says that a firm produces an alloy having the following specification so the alloy has to be follow these specifications specific gravity has to be less than equal to 0.8 chromium has to be greater than equal to 8% melting point has to be greater than equal to 450 degree centigrade now it is given that the raw materials a b c having the properties shown in the table can be used to make an alloy so these are the raw materials a b and c they can be used to make raw materials and the specification of the raw materials are given as uh, specific gravity for raw material a is 0.92 for b is 0.97 for c is 1.04 similarly for chromium uh, in raw material a chromium is 7% for raw material b it is 13 for c it is 16 similarly melting point of raw material a is 440 raw material b is 490 and raw material c is 480 now it says that cost of the various raw materials per ton are rupees 90 to rupees 280 and rupees 40 for a b and c respectively that means a is costing rupees 90 b is rupees 1280 and c is rupees 40 now it says that formulate the lp model to find out the proportion in which a b and c be used to obtain an alloy of the desired properties while the cost of raw material is minimum okay so we have done in previous lectures we have done the problem on minimization and uh, in in that problem we just need to calculate the number of units okay corresponding to the cost but in this problem uh, we need to understand that it has asked to find the proportion in which a and b and c are used to obtain an alloy that means to obtain a single alloy in what composition raw material a b and c are used so let us start solving problem okay i'm going to rub this okay so i am writing here okay cost of raw material okay the cost is given as rupees 240 rupees 80 and rupees 90 just a second okay. so now Uh, what is our objective our objective is to minimize the cost and to calculate the composition or the proportion of raw material a b and c so let us say x1 be the composition of raw material a in an alloy x2 be the composition of raw material b and x3 be the composition of raw material c 
okay now our objective is to minimize the cost so cost is given here we can easily write objective as minimize z equals to cost of one unit of raw material a is 90 and x1 is the fraction of one unit suppose if we consider one unit as 100 percent and this x1 is 20 percent then rupees 90 is cost of your one unit so cost of 20 percent will be 0 0.2 into rupees 90 so 0 0.2 is what fraction x1 so similarly we have to calculate the fractional cost that means 90 x1 okay similarly for raw material b we, uh, we have a fraction as x2 and the cost of one unit is rupees 240 so it is 240 x2 similarly in raw material c cost of one unit is 80 and the fraction it is going to use is x3 so it is equal to 80 x3 clear so this is our total cost to make an alloy okay a single alloy and we need to minimize this cost in order to get the optimal proportion of raw material a b and c so let us see what are the constraints here we can see that specific gravity of a is 0.92 b is 0.97 c is 1.04 and the required specific gravity has to be less than equal to 0. 98 so we can easily say that x1 percent of that alloy will have 0.92 as a specific gravity x2 composition will have 0.97 as a specific gravity and x3 will have 1.04 as a specific gravity so the overall specific gravity of an alloy will be given as 0.92 x1 okay plus 0.97 x2 plus 1.04 x3 okay so this is the combined specific gravity of that alloy now this specific gravity has to be less than or equal to 0.98 so i'm writing it here less than or equal to 0.98 now let us see the second constraint that the chromium has to be greater than or equal to 8%. So let us see raw material A has a chromium percentage of 7, B has 13 and C has 16. So for X1 fraction or X1 percent of composition, we will have 7 X1. Okay, this will be and for raw material B it is 13 X2 plus 13 x2 for c it is 16 x3 plus 16 x3 now this has to be greater than equal to 8 percent that means the composition of that alloy has to be greater than equal to 8 percent okay now moving on to next constraint that the melting point has to be greater than equal to 450 degrees centigrade now raw material a has 440 degree centigrade b has 490 and c has 480 degree centigrade so x1 per, uh, percent of composition will have 440 x2 will have 490 and x3 will have 480 so our constraint will be 440 x1 plus 490 x2 plus 480 x3 okay and this has to be greater than equal to 450 degrees centigrade that means this has to be greater than equal to 450 okay so if you think all our constraints are met then there is one more constraint remaining we need to understand that in question it has asked the proportion of raw materials a b and c that means x1 x2 and x3 the proportion of x1 x2 and x3 so we could easily understand that x1 
plus x2 plus x3 will combine and make complete alloy okay and alloy so it is making an alloy let me write in bigger letters so it will be visible an alloy so an alloy has a percentage of x1 plus x2 plus x3 so we can write here another constraint that x1 plus x2 plus x3 has to be equal to 1 that means the total percentage by adding it will have to add up to 100 percent so that the total fraction will sum up as 1 okay so this will uh, these are our constraint and now i am writing here we will apply non negativity restrictions that means x1 comma x2 comma x3 has to be greater than equal to 0 okay so that there should not be any negative quantity of raw materials so in this question it is necessary to understand what our objective function says the motive behind taking a number of problems on formulation is that to understand what our objective is objective can be very different in very different conditions so in this condition it has been clearly told that we need to find the proportion when we are talking about proportion that means the total adding up value of this proportion has to be equal to 100 percent and if we are taking in fraction just as in this case we are taking fraction x1 x2 and x3 so the total will add up to equal to 1 that's why this fourth constraint came up okay so without applying this fourth constraint our question will be uh, our formulation will be incomplete so so this comprises our uh, solution for formulation uh, these are x1 x2 x3 are the proportion of raw material a b and c this is our objective function these four are our constraints and this is our non negativity restrictions so we again so we we again have to see that we are following only four steps first is to identify decision variables okay x1 x2 x3 then we are identifying our objective function then we are drawing constraints and then applying non negativity restrictions okay so if you like our lecture please uh, share and subscribe the channel and don't forget to hit the like button okay thank you